Today on review, we are looking at Elder Scrolls 5 Guy Wim for the Xbox 360, also available on the PlayStation 3 and PC. The story of Guy Wim it may not be exactly the best in the franchise, but the story started out with you, of course, as a prisoner once again, and right when you get ready to be beheaded, a dragon appeal and set everything on file, and you pretty much make a break for it. And the story pretty much unfold from there of you find out about being a Dova and Dragonborn and pretty much what that means is you can kill dragon and pretty much eat no souls. And then we turn, use it to unlock dragon in the dragon language which you can find cattle all over Skywim. And of course you get a couple of the language wars in the main quest but in many many more out in the land if you so to look for them. And fight dragon to collect souls to unlock them since every war takes a soul. But sadly, the story is just not as interesting as past Elder Scrolls game. Once the game actually get going and it starts seeming like it's gonna get interesting, the game just ends. Or like the main story just ends. Which, knowing Pathetta and what we have seen in the Fallout series, we will probably get a expansion which will stretch the story out any farther and actually give the game somewhat of a proper ending. But outside the main storyline, of course, you can do the guild storyline, which in this case, the guild storyline doesn't seem to have much feel like it was in Oblivion. One to two missions in and you write into the story or whatever incident is happening with the guild. But if you want to continue doing the miscellaneous stuff from the guild, such as robbing stuff and killing certain people, that is still low. It just, now you do not have to do all that to get to the story of the guild. You get them through alternate NPCs which will give it out to improve your rank in the guild itself and in many cases it actually unlocks some of the later achievements if you achievement hunters. And on the other side of that you have a civil war happening between the empire and the lords which you can pick what side to put uh, to become a part of and help take the land back. With two completely distant storylines depending on which one you pick add some great replayability to lead that storyline. As far as everything else in Guy Wim, it is hundreds upon hundreds of quests. Just hearing people talking to Threed or talking to random NPC will give you quests and missions and reading books also do it. And on the side of the actual leveling, instead of now, you do not have a primary skill set like it was in past Elder Scrolls game. Your god is pretty much picked by finding statues scattered across the land and you can switch in between at will pretty much as long as you know where they are and can teleport there or walk there. And the leveling now, instead of being primary skill, pretty much everything level you. All the skill, it doesn't matter what you do. You can sneak, fight with bows, magic, talking. You have multiple ways of leveling here. And one of the flaws that was in Oblivion was the whole thing of some of the model to you as you level and in return the game can come a little difficult in higher level. This is not a case in Skywim. Everything seems to scale perfectly to you and you never feel like you cannot accomplish anything. Which is a good thing since Oblivion were very bad about that and sneaking was the only way to get through that game in some of the higher level. That is not the case here. You can actually get through the game that you see fit. If you want to use two swords, you can. You can use just magic. You can be an archer, which I highly recommend. Since the sword combat is still not exactly the best. It feels kind of floaty, elite to you get it level a bit. And then some of the higher level. And of course, now you have finisher, which is pretty much like Fallout. It goes to third person and slow down. And you see you pretty much killing whatever you're fighting in some fancy way. But at all on the leveling also, now every time you gain a level, you will get a port or a port point, which all your skills have been made up in the stars of pretty much like a field grid similar to Final Final Fantasy X, I guess you can say, which every level you can add a point to whatever you see, might it be talking to fighting to magic. And in return, it thought out just being boot to becoming extremely useful at some of the higher levels. And of course, another thing they have added is of course, now you can craft your own weapons and armor. They have had it somewhat in past Elder Quill game, but now it's a lot more a bust. Now you can hunt for items and metals and mine, which in return to you to make weapons and armor. And of course, you can now, you can enchant item, which always been around, but you can dechant item to actually learn the spells to actually enhance your weapon with. And now you do that by just going to a workbench. Very similar with the alchemy. The alchemy works the same way. You can no longer carry around a pot and do alchemy on the fly, which can be kind of irritating. 
or some. And a court poultry and a deal to quick the way to make money in this. And with the money you can court buy houses and pretty much hire people to come help you. You can have a couple companions actually helping you now. Either some will join you because you prove you a warrior to them. Some is given to you. Other you have to pay off. And in many cases you actually can use your companion to actually do a quest. And some quests require you to do a companion. And of course, the other new thing they have added now is you can get Mary. So overall, I give Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim a 5 out of 5. And claim the star for your own. <laughs> so what do you guys think about the review? Feel free to leave some comment below, also over on Facebook, our official YouTube page, and of course, enterplay.info. Don't forget to favorite, like that video, and don't forget to subscribe. It's free, so feel free to do that. No pun intended. And of course, if you want to email us, just send an email over at troy at See you guys.